I'm George Stamus, and on behalf of my fellow directors and executives at the Hellenic Initiative, we want to welcome the many hundreds of you from Zoom and Facebook who have joined us today for this extraordinary inaugural THI Digital Speakers Series. Uh, and there cannot be any more timely speaker event than to welcome Drs. George Yankopoulos and Christos Kiratsos of Regeneron. I think as all of you listening know, these two gentlemen and their company, Regeneron, are at the epicenter of the fight against COVID-19, racing and leading, really, the pharma industry in the research uh, for an effective vaccine. First of all, thank you so much for having us. And I think you'll hear from both of us that in many ways we owe everything that we are and everything that we're doing to our Greek heritage. The Greeks had something special in us that we could really achieve and contribute to the world. I am a big believer in American ingenuity. You know, I think like I'm sure many Greek Americans, I was raised to be incredibly proud of Greece and my heritage, but I was also raised to believe that the people who came to America, there was just something special about them because they were in some way self-selected to, to be yearning for more and to be exploring more and to be asking more questions. And, you know, Christos is just another great recent example of that. Somebody who recognized that in order to achieve everything that he wants to achieve, he has to, he has to cross an ocean in order to do it. And I, and I believe that what makes America special is truly been selected and is our genes. Or vaccinated, what do we do is we make antibodies against uh, all these pathogens. So we can mimic this whole process in a mouse. What we do is we challenge these mice with our favorite virus. In this case, you know, what we are talking about today is coronavirus. And these mice are going to be making human antibodies that are indistinguishable from the antibodies that a human being is going to make. And what we are doing is uh, these mice are going to be making thousands and thousands of these antibodies. We can take these antibodies out of these mice. And then in the lab, we can test each one of them, each and every one of them. And we can identify the best antibody at you know, blocking exactly what I was describing before. There are some antibodies that are gonna be very bad at blocking this interaction between the virus and the cell. There are some antibodies that are gonna be phenomenal at doing that. So we want to go from thousands of antibodies and we want to select the few uh, handful antibodies that are gonna be the best at blocking the virus um, from entering inside the cell. And eventually these are gonna be uh, the best drugs that we can make uh, to become these antivirals and prevent disease or cure disease. So three trials, prevention, which we're hoping it could be almost universally effective, early treatment with, where based on the Ebola, you think that you may be able to provide, prevent the vast majority of these patients from progressing to serious disease, but then we might even be able to help some of the late stage patients, the ones who are the sickest, who unfortunately are in the most dire straits, who are on ventilators and so forth. 